Okay, so we have a multimeter hooked up, pin 10 on the power amplifier board, starting with the left, because according to the schematics, current flows from left to right channel. You don't want to adjust the left before you can accurately adjust the right. Um, I have my ground, I'm hooked to my negative lead. Um, if you don't have some alligator clips or long, uh, these, uh, these uh, long pincher grips. Um, pick some up on Amazon. They're like you know, 20 bucks. Um, makes life a lot easier. You're not going to short anything out with these, as long as you're careful. Um, so what we're going to do is I've adjusted VR1 and VR2. VR1 is the white one if you're looking at your power amplifier board. It's the one closest to pin 10. VR2 is further away from pin 10, and it's blue. All right, so we're going to set VR1, all right, the white, all the way counterclockwise on both. I've already done so. And we're going to center VR2, where, uh, uh, which is the blue one. All right, so you're going to turn it fully left, fully right, get an estimate of where center is, and get it roughly on center. All right. When you have it hooked up, what we're going to first do is we're going to adjust the center voltage. All right, and we want to be at zero volts. Um, now there is, if, if you can't get zero volts, there's a workaround, but 90% of the time you're going to be able to adjust it without that workaround. All right, so we'll power it on. And as you can see, we're not exactly at zero volts. So what we're going to do is we, and I'm careful, all right, this is live power, you know, this, this can cook you, all right? Um, and we're going to adjust VR2, not VR1, but VR2, until we get to zero volts. All right. So you can see there, slowly adjusting it. Zero. Don't want negative. Right at zero. Now, it's also important to say that I had this running, system running, for about a good 20 minutes. Um, hooked up to speakers playing, all right? So you want to get up to operating temperature. It doesn't need to be cooking hot, but it shouldn't be cold. And these little pots are tricky, getting it to zero. All right. And, um, Trying to get it to zero. Oh. Right there. A little more. Not too far. Oh, so close. That's pretty darn close. All right. I think we'll, uh, 0 0.005 is, is pretty as close as you're going to get. Um, so as you'll see, it'll fluctuate up and down. So now we're down to four. Might even drop down another one as we go forward. All right. So we want, we can just tap it, see if it, yeah, just tapping it. Just tapping it there. Puts it down, but I'm, I'm pretty good with that. All right, just dropped again. So that's zero volts, if I've ever seen it. Um, so now we'll move on to um, uh, idle current adjustment. All right. Um, so you don't need to do each one. All right. Uh, let's see here. It has the direction say. Check if the voltage is between terminal 10 and ground is 0 volt. Um, the right channel also uses power assembly, AWHO73. Check and adjust this channel in accordance with items 1 to 3 above. Okay, so we actually will go ahead. This is why it's good to have the owner's manual. So we'll go ahead and we'll power off. And 
we will grab this off of pin 10 and we will attach it pin 10 on the right channel now power it on as you can see we need to adjust we would do so accordingly Okay. BR2, the blue one. And this, if you turn it clockwise, you're actually going to go down in voltage. All right. My goal is, oh, hey, that's pretty good. 0 0.02, that was a fast one. All right, so we got that right where it needs to be. All right. That was... That one was a little easier. So pin 10, pin 10, start with the left, move over to the right. Now we're going to hop back over to the left, and we're going to adjust the idle current. With the idle current, we are going to be... Pop this on here. We're going to be going between... Pins 13 and 23. All right. Um, and we're, of course, going to start with the left channel. And we're going to be adjusting VR1 on this all right so we'll uh again should be warm for this all right um currently vr1 is completely clockwise so you are going to basically be reading your center voltage that you just set give or take a millivolt all right um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adjusting it to 30 milliamps per the instructions. It also has adjust voltmeter adjust to 30 millivolts. So which is it? Is it 30 milliamps? Is it 30 millivolts? Well, Ohm's law, all right, if you calculate the, the path on the, on the schematics of the resistor pathway between pins 13 and 23, and you calculate Ohm's law, you actually get both 30 milliamps and 30 millivolts as a reading. So in this case, Ohm's law just works out that whichever way you read it in millivolts or milliamps, you're going to be reading for 30. So a little confusing in the, in the directions. The first time I read that, I was like, well, what is it? Um, and uh, after taking a look at the schematics, it makes sense. So you can either use milliamps or millivolts. We're going to use millivolts all right and we are going to adjust vr1 which is the one closest to pin 10 remember and it is the white one so we're going to adjust it oh look at that just touching it all right so now we are going to adjust Yeah, that's 
pretty darn close. I'll just show you the range. All right, so this is where we started. All right, fully clockwise. I think I'm going to hover some 30 turn variable resistors for this. Because that's very odd. I thought I was seeing things, but I wasn't. I wasn't accurately displaying the correct millivolts on the Multimeter. So 29.7 is pretty darn close. That's good enough for me. Um, so, we will go ahead, we will power down. We will now jump over to the right channel. Alright, where are we at? <laughs> Alright, there we go. You may not be able to see. Just so you can see it. I like to give them a little back and forth just to clean out any grime in there. They shouldn't be grimy. I did deoxid when I rebuilt this here. All right. There we go. 30 millivolts. So that is how you adjust center voltage and idle current. on an SX-980. All right. So, with that said, we'll go ahead and we'll button it up, bring it upstairs, and we'll see how she runs. <laughs> 